Three days ago my BF and I went to go see the Barbie movie. I even really excited as I a huge Greta Gerwig fan and my BF like Ryan Reynolds. Other than him being in the movie, my BF didn't know anything else about it. I on the other hand was aware of its feminist themes and was secretly hoping my BF would get the message. Over the duration of the movie I could tell he was getting more and more uncomfortable upset and I was getting really sad both from the movie and his reaction and I knew we would end up having a conversation about it afterwards. He didn't talk to me until we got in the car. He then told me that he was really offended by the movie and said that it was the kind of thing I should have watched with my girlfriends and not him. I understood where he was coming from but I'm not going to even start explaining why I disagreed. We have been having problems with his weird comments about women, the LGBTQ community, and other stuff. He would deem it bitch shit. Maybe it was a long time coming but this was the straw that broke the camel back. I was tired of having to always deal with his attitude and disrespect and was also maybe on this girl power high. So I told him it was over. The complicated part is this. He lives lived with me. He has been in between serving jobs and since he was my freaking boyfriend I let him move in with me six months ago. Living with him is a whole other story but I could not take it anymore and had him leave my apartment the next day. I stayed at my friend's house while he packed up his stuff. He said he understood and that he didn't want to live with me another second anyways. I assumed he had a place to go but apparently he didn't. His brother called me a few hours ago saying he am I a. His friends are blowing up my phone saying the same thing. I feel like this is all my fault. No one has heard from him in 24 hours. I did think it was weird when I came home and all the food in the fridge was gone. All the batteries in our electronics drawer were gone. He took my phone charger and half the blankets. I know now he did not in fact have anywhere to go or a car. He had been using mine since his engine busted last month. The worst part is we still have his location and it's saying he is two states away. I know how he got there. I can believe this is all because of the freaking Barbie movie. Update. Hi everyone. I know everyone says this but I really didn't expect this to blow up. I a little embarrassed but in light of everything I e learned over the past 24 hours I once again oversharing on Reddit before anything else. I wrote that post in a frenzy of panic and guilt. With a clearer head I can recognize that yes. We broke up because we were incompatible and I was at my limit not because of a movie. Some people were saying I maybe needed the Barbie movie more than he did since I was clearly dating a bigot. And to that I agree. I was convinced I loved him but I think I just didn't really understand my value feel deserving of someone better. I e learned my lesson. And as a walk, will never let myself be treated like that again. My biggest regret is that the my loved ones had to endure him as well. Well, I even cheated on before but I usually find out and then we break up. Since I found out about my ex cheating, after I broke up with him I not exactly torn up about it. I feel like I skipped the questioning and sadness and went straight to the over it but since I have everyone attention I just gonna put him on blast RN. I can confidently say his beliefs were the worst part about him and I not extremely surprised that he didn't respect me enough to be loyal. But the way I found out was actually kind of funny. His brother has been keeping me semi updated on the missing Ken situation but I haven't really been asking any questions other than how he and his family are doing. They e not mad at me as they are aware of the situation. His brother even thanked me for taking care of him for as long as I did. He texted me this morning around 9 saying we don't need to worry anymore BC at their cousin's house in Colorado Springs. Then, around 12 in the afternoon I got multiple calls from a friend of his saying that he heard from my ex. This friend sucks so much I not even gonna get into it. I supremely regret giving him my number. He was obviously under the influence of some sort not to judge but literally 12 p.m. ATP and he telling me stuff like he is literally so much happier now that you let him go and that he just felt bad for me and that I was charity work. And then he said, now he can be with his main for real. His name getting some real p***y now. Literally pause. I asked him to clarify and he gave me that oh she laughing guy thing they do when they say something they weren't supposed to. Then he said F me and hung up. The potentially craziest part that's been getting to me is that he is definitely at his cousin's house. His brother confirmed. I think him going crazy BCIE seen his cousin on his insta feed before and she literally stunning. He said she his second cousin and I drk how related there if this is real I can even comprehend what this means. Maybe it not real idk but I think it the perfect ending to this story. 
This is why you shouldn't leave your home when your ex is gathering their things after a breakup. Like yeah it will be awkward being there but i.e. seems so much petty bs. And especially if it a wild bigot that you e breaking up with they e more likely to pull some shit. Get a trusted friend, stay in your home and get your key back. Thanks for listening everyone if you enjoyed today's story make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to reddit zone to never miss a future upload.